Super Mobile. Welcome back, everybody. Drake Hawk was the game. We're playing some more old world. I'm back. I've been away for a number of days with tech issues. I think we've got most of it solved. We're now no longer running Streamlabs OBS. We are using OBS Studio. Uh, took a little bit of a harder learning curve to rethink it all, but I've done other stuff with other programs as well as uh, Streamlabs and OBS, so it wasn't as terrible to figure out as I thought. Lots of settings, lots of testing. Test, repeat, test, repeat. So hopefully it'll be working and hopefully we'll get a better performance now that I wiped the entire computer. I actually managed to do so without losing anything so far, I think. So, you know, a good clean uh, refresh every once in a while is a good thing. And refreshing my memory on what was going on here, guess what I found? Look what's down here. Olives. We likes olives. Well, we don't. The Asian people likes olives. We also have fur coming. So if we could settle down here, we have a guy planning to come down here to settle. So this would be his location. What, what was that ping for? What's going on? I don't, I don't know what the sound was for. Are, are we are we good? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we're not recording anymore. I have no idea. Um. Anyways, uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave him there. Uh, tutorial of the worker. What? Oh no no. Hold on. Why do we have tutorials? But oh right, of course, because everything reset. All right, hold on. Let's find our options and shut off tutorial. Disable tutorials. Do not occur. Okay. Instant unit movement. Um. Don't animate. No, no, no. We want unit cycling. Okay. Good. So far, I think... Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Better go check the audio settings, because that was a change, right? Did I do it? Yeah, I did. Okay. So this should be... Uh, should be YouTube safe music. All right, so we're back. Um, we had an idea up here to build uh, the cathedral and stuff up this way. At the end of the last episode, we were also going to be doing some work over in the groves and stuff over here. We have the Persians snapping up this plot here, which is very disturbing. I really got to rush in and take this one if they're going to get this before me. I'm hoping I can get in there and nab that one, but I don't know. You got a raider coming along this way. Is that a raider? No, he's a barbarian. Oddly enough, must have been from, was he from here or separate? I'm not sure. Uh, but down here, this will be the go-to. This guy's going to run through. Uh, I think, yeah, we got some, oh. <clears throat> you can disable tutorials, yeah. Thanks. I, I don't care. Go ahead and get rid of those. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Apologies. So we are back at uh, the end of last turn, or last uh, stream. We ended uh, the early part of year 60 of the game. Noble Palasar, the just. Yeah, we got some very, um, very high tension incursions going on. The Assyrians have been trying to grab land in here. They already got upset at me because I took this one uh, literally right out from under them. I took this one right out from under them. They're getting a little upset. The Egyptians apparently don't like that I'm stealing land near them. I mean, all these things aren't going well for them. The Persians have a tile here, which is kind of annoying. There we go. That's the, probably the, the end of the barbarians here, I imagine. They probably already have that tile with them. No, maybe not. Yeah, finish that guy off. Jeepers, there's so many units. Oddly enough, the barbarian came after my, my knight. I don't know who's going to get that. I'd rather the Persians, I think. <clears throat> Ooh, double hit on the elephant. That is not great. Uh, I'll have to check the post-processing of the audio afterwards. I seem to be a little on the hot side, volume-wise. Let me tweak that down just a little in case that's the case. All right. Live and let die, as in... Oh, community contribution. Really? Well, that's cool. All right. Matriarch Ubal Ubalnu the Witty, is that the leader of? Oh, she's the head of Zoroastrianism, right? See, it's been like a week since I've recorded, probably. Or feels like a month. Um, she has to have some wisdom to get there. Okay, arrives at the court and claims that our woman's custom of using mixture of lead 
but our women's custom of using a mixture of lead and sulfur to dye their hair has uh, causes health problems. Really? You don't say. Headaches, miscarriages, seizures. S she suggests they use her own harmless plant-based dye instead. That sounds like nonsense. Send her on her way. And we become, she becomes disappointed and we get disciplined. <laughs> uh huh. We are persuaded and we'll, what is going on? Why is it making windows sounds at me? It, did, it hasn't done this for like forever. I don't understand what that is. I apologize if those are coming through. I'm pretty sure they are. I will find out what it is and fix them. Um, we are persuaded and we'll provide the uh, the royal charter to sell her hair dye. Um, so we could get her upset with us and gain some discipline, or we could keep her in our favor and gain some money. Well, I guess we're going to keep her in favor because we want the money and we want the. Uh, mm. And we, and we definitely want the, uh, not to have the women dying unduly of lead poisoning. Uh, this guy's ready to upgrade. Uh, let's pull in here, knock this unit, and, uh, you can, well, you can smack this guy pretty darn hard right there. Oh, and routed. Bring you over and shoot this one down. Oh man, I'd like to... Hmm. Okay. We're gonna do some damage there. I'd like to be able to... to uh, upgrade that unit instead of doing the fight, but as long... Oh, you know what? That might be death. That might be death for that dude. I don't know. These guys have to get... I wonder if we... If we force march this, we got lots of points available. We can go in here and we can found this city. I don't remember what this city was going to be founded as, though. Had we decided? I think an Isin was the plan. Excellent. We are now given the cognomen the good. 174 legitimacy. Excellent. Uh, so this place should start with a set of walls, I imagine. Uh, let's do worker and then a set of walls. Uh, do, 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 alt to buy. Excellent. Uh, we won't need to buy the stone outright right now. We have, we're have we just consuming stone at an astonishing rate. Let's go ahead and... and oops, that selected the... Uh, yes, there we go. Heal up and heal up. You are a freebie, right? Yeah, you're not a racially limited or a, a family limited one. Alright, we have no moves left over in this group. The elephant there is fine for now. Do we have more settlers? We do. And he was supposed to head where? I think this is our next settler point, and then down here. Although, if we do both, we send them generally in this direction. Uh, that'll move them along. Oh, that's not a build. A settler? There he is. That'll move them along quicker. That's a really odd pathing to take, but... <clears throat> he might even beat the other guy down there. That's fine. I believe, yeah, we have another one up in the capital, and he's going to head down generally in the same area. But that's this guy settled. This guy's got a settler on the way. This guy's got a settler on the way. We're going to head down pretty much to Durker. Durka Dirk here over here. Excellent. Orders left is 19. Now, I'm concerned that these guys are going to contend for what's going on here really fast. Um, is there any chance? Oh, there is still a chance. But no. But no, because we won't be able to get enough manpower down here to actually take this unit out in the 16 moves that we've got. That's a lot of potentially... A, a very weak... Sorry, not a lot. A very opposite of a lot of uh, damage they can do there. Because archers don't like shooting into... Or don't do not do well shooting into forest, as it were. Uh, so these guys are both going to need a heal. Uh, over here. Got some units. I think... I mean, I think the go-to is to get these guys 
into this are javelin this is this is rough if we stay also in the forest oh no no no, no not you uh you are gonna heal you can come a little further forward to the uh, forest there you spend a few points to the forest there Um, now, down this way is an Isin. Is there an Isin builder near? Ah, there he is. But he's building roads upwards. Don't know what I just clicked by accident. Is he still doing it? Yes, he is. Good. I need another Isin builder. You're up here now, doing weird things, like building entirely in the wrong place. So we got roads going that way, we got this unit, come, uh, uh, this option to come down here. They can't go directly from there, but it's it's a bit around and about, but it's not that important. Roads come through here and here. They funnel down this way and this way. I think they should cross here. I think that would be a wise move. So let's move him-ish down that direction. There's seven orders left. We got this uh, Isin village up here that is being worked. Come on, let me select. There you go. This is the worker. Um, you have a garrison here. You're suggesting I build another one? Oh, this is barracks. Wait, what? Barracks range, no garrison? Oh, really? Oh, I didn't realize that was an option. Okay. And we'll actually go ahead and buy that one up too, because we need these front lines properly set. Uh, Dilbat, how you doing? Uh, Dilbat, it does have officers. Uh, work needs to be done, so I think... Uh, nothing here is a specialty resource, so go ahead with an officer. We'll do a set of apprentice officers for now. Kish is working on the Akkadian. We've set up a huge list for Mari. Babylon is working on its Byreem. Miners down in Borsapa. Opus has a treasury in the works. Okay. We have a couple scouts? Really? Oh, uh, yes. Heading up to Wasset. Go ahead and create an agent network there. Now, was there the ability to set up... Infiltrate Nation? Aha! I see. Uh, what? Um, that's not what I thought was going to happen. I thought I was going to get an option here. Hold on. <laughs> I was looking. I was looking for a next, next option. Oh, so this is the sp no. This isn't the spy network. Ah, uh, agent networks. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, choose agent for Roma. Ah. All right, I see. Parsa, Pella, Wasit. Candidates are available. Oh, you, you silly little kniggets. Oh, this is interesting. All right. What does this become, then? You would become... We'll leave council as spine. Wait, what? No, not you. Spy said this. She's 65 and becomes an agent. Um, interesting. So why are we getting... I'm not familiar with this idea. Why are we getting... Points... Oh, as, a, as agent 40% of science. Oh. Oh. Does that mean she gets 40% of their science? And how about here? Upset minus 50%, otherwise she'd be getting 64... Oh my goodness. Okay, I've never done this before. Somebody mentioned it, and I appreciate that because I've never seen this before. We could send a scholar, but he's upset with us. No? Why is this guy... 
make him an agent. We he has five wisdom. What's the what's the yellow for? As agent, twenty five percent of science. Why is that? Oh, because of the different types. Perhaps. You are what? Are you going to get the 25% as well? No. Oh, please. Tw yeah, yeah, yeah. 20. Okay. All right. So, uh, schemers are really good at spies. Who'd have thunk? Oh, that's so cool. Plus 20% on all agent yields. There it is. Okay. That's funky. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the consort over here to, uh, Spend a couple orders and get her over here to, to do some agenty things in Wasset. On Egypt. Ah, and now we get vision. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, I appreciate that. Okay, I just wanted to look into that because I, I heard rumors of it. So. Well, that's so cool, guys. So cool. There's so much more to this game. Every time I turn around, I find more. Uh, this is who? Zoroastrian Disciple. Why is he the. Oh, wait, what? You're a Zoroastrian Disciple, and you are. Why is... The icons look a little different, weirdly enough. Whatever. We're going to move over here, and later we're going to do something with you. That is cool. All right. Well, we've learned about agents, basically. That's great. I wholeheartedly approve. We'll see what uh, Rome and the rest do. Persia, rather, and Egypt and the rest do. Now, this tile down here... I don't know who I want to get this, actually. I kind of want Egypt, actually, to get it. Because Egypt is the more likely battle enemy. More likely enemy to be engaging earlier. I don't want Persia as an enemy right now. I'm thinking, you know, to regain this territory. Why is Rome done with it? Oh my goodness. Take your sweet time, will you, Rome? Oh, are you conquering the known world? Creepers. Okay, are they going to get in enough to finish it? I don't think so. Oh, goodness. Assyria is now in a national alliance with Greece. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I was trying to do that. Nidintu joins the court. Your new court minister, Nidintu, has joined the court. Her aptitude in the matter of states keeps Babylonia moving forward. <clears throat> okay. She is a minister with six charisma. Oof, that's hefty. <clears throat> All right, I don't remember what we were doing. I do see very nice low numbers on the semester count. I think we had, didn't we have some priorities here? Doctrine and fiscal policy and discover boarding and infantry square. Okay, doctrine, fiscal policy, boarding, barding and infantry square. Jeepers. Okay. Um, I think we got one of those. Doctrine, okay. Uh, infantry Square is past uh, Bodkin Arrows. Barding is past Martial Code and Stirrups. And Fiscal Policy requires... What? Um... Latin sale or cartography. Hmm. Trade League unlocks convoy. And sell for the same price as buying. Really? Hmm. Oh, Trade League Law. Oh, I see. Okay. Or Autarky. All cities, mines, quarries, and lumbers, 20% increase. Uh, you can build units that require horses, camels, and elephants. <clears throat> upkeep, very high science upkeep. Okay. The Cassite would like that one. The uh, Trade League would be impressed. The Isin, what a surprise. Very high civic cost. Um, buying and selling is the same. Unlocks the convoy, which is what? It's a convoy, it's a project. Oh, really? 100 coin minus 40 discontentment. Ooh. And then one science per turn. Or we go this way. 
we get better mining output, which could offset the requirement to buy and sell stuff, whereas this one allows us to buy and sell stuff cheaper and gives us a... Oh, I don't hate that convoy idea. That's pretty nice. Science per turn, but the minus 40. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. All right, so let's get Bodkin Arrow then. Um, just because I think what I'll do is give some thought to that one before I go any further. Harbor. Oh, really? Plus two corn per semester for adjacent. 40% for adjacent nets. Idle ships get a 10% or 10 XP per semester. Consumes some stone and outputs some money. So it's a training facility for har for, ho for horse. For the floating horses, you know, boats. Boost nets. That's that can be pretty potent, but uh, yeah, we think we're gonna do a longbow. That's we get a lot of archer units, basic archer. So I don't think can upgrade to the next. Well, maybe they can. Hold on. That's promoting. I don't know that an archer can upgrade to an Acadian archer. I don't think that's a thing. All right, before we do this turn, though, we have 50 orders, and this is still in their hands. I mean. I don't see how there's any chance that we don't rush everything we have at taking that. I really don't know how there could be a downside to that. Two from that guy. Two from this guy. Three from this guy if we get him right up close. I don't know if we're going to have enough range. We're really going to have to force march a lot of things. I'm entirely okay to sacrifice an entire elephant for this. Um, conversely, we could also run one of these archers down to here. If we can get this guy in to here, for instance. Okay, let's start there. You move in here. I'm going to force march you because we have a ton of training to allow us to do this. And you're going to go in here. You're going to smash this unit. Good. Uh, actually, I shouldn't have done that because that should finish. Okay, that should be our finishing move, right? Yeah. Uh, there gives us a couple points. Who else can get into here? You're going to have to force march as well. If I go here and hit here, I do one damage to this guy, three from this side, but this that leaves this guy standing. That's not a terrible idea. If I could get you in close enough. I don't know if I can. Let's see from that side. We're going to force march to here. There, that spot's going to get us three shot or three points of damage. Another, the elephant can then finish this off and take the town. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Dirty little bricks. <laughs> Alright, this guy's got to get back to friendly turf. So go back there and you do some healing. You and you can also heal up. That was a lot of... We used... Well, we only used 300 training. I think that was entirely worth the 300 training, to be honest. Uh, and of course, of course, we've got to run somebody down here for this. So we're going to go like that. We're going to have to force march for another 100 points used to lock that one down. Okay, I don't want to soften anything up over here right now. Yeah, that was worth the charge. They were just slackers, I tell you. Slackers. All right, in here... Um, you can promote marksman plus one. Is that range? Yeah, that's interesting. No, I don't want range. I'd rather the more damage. Although, if is that actually? I'm just gonna check this. I'm not gonna let it happen. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with the decision I made there. But if I did marksman, he would be in range there. I see. Okay, like, that's just straight up a better, uh, better ability for when you're into major numbers, right? I will stick with the shield bearer, because that's the decision I made when I was not thinking clearly. 
Uh, and this guy is also going to promote strike for the attack. Fierce versus infantry units. Yeah, we'll do that. That seems sensible. You're out of, we're out of orders now. Okay. So we have a couple of cities that need to... Whoa, that was weird. A couple of cities that need some attention, like uh, Shuropak. Hmm, we can make chariots now. Nice. Uh, so Shuropak has uh, their first monk and priest online. That's cool. Let's put a poet in here as well. And then we'll upgrade the monk and the priest and the poet. I like it. Next city. Ah, uh, Eridu. Yes, of course. Um... I mean, we could put in a miner. It's a Chaldean city. Let's put. Uh, let's do the forum and the archive first. Um. Yeah. Mm, yeah. We got. We got cash flow. We got 250 a day. Combat training event. Your wife has shown promise in, ba in basic weapons drill. Shall we secure the services of a professional soldier to further the Queen's combat training? Absolutely. Oh. Too expensive? No, 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 no. We're entirely going to do that. 1700 bucks. We can make that happen. Somehow we must make that happen. Um. So, yeah, see, this would be a great time for that bonus. Uh, let's sell some iron as well. Another 100 iron. It's worth it for the lady to, uh, to have that skill. 780, okay, uh, just a couple little, a little bit more, there we go, hire the veteran to tutor, excellent, oh, I really, I really approve of that theft, that, that's location theft right there, that's great, provided they don't turn on us and say, aha, that is cause for war, and just go slaughter me, that would be bad, so this one is held by us, claimed by us, this one is claimed by us, this one is now actually settled by Persia, okay, and this one's claimed by us as well. So we have three claims active in the area. I wasn't expecting to get that one. And one, two more potential claims. So we should have the capital building a couple more uh, settlers then as well. Love the music. Love the music. Now they're going to go hot ham on me damaging these units, which is fine by me. As long as they don't take the actual base tile out. Oh. Listen, dude, I just, I just healing my units. They're coming at me like that. Huh? Because of the National Alliance with Greece, Assyria responded to the war declaration by Rome with war. Okay. So, Assyria... So Rome is now at war with Assyria and Greece. Because Rome declared war on Greece and Assyria is their ally. Rome declares war on Greece, Assyria declares war on Rome. Alright. Although that's an interesting combination because Greece may more likely... You know, that, that was a good alliance versus the Persians to counter the Persians for the Greeks. But not really to counter the Romans because they're way over here. Number of court scholars uh, have taken to composing a history of the glorious city of Dilbat. Compiling the writings together after years of research, they are shocked to find that over 3,000 entries have been made. A staggering number by any reckoning. How shall we celebrate this feat? Um, spread the histories far and wide. Gain culture for Dilbat. Uh, we will learn from our past. Gain civics. Or, this is only the beginning, gain science. Okay, so that's less than two turns of science. That's four turns of civics, or 60 culture for the city. I think we gotta go with the culture for the city. Pretty sure on that one. All right, uh, movement is gonna, of settlers is gonna be pretty vital here as well. Uh, did we think about which, I think this is an Isin village as well. How are we doing for city council? How are we doing for numbers? We're at about half an hour. So, uh, let's link by families. One, two, three, four. Okay, so, so they're really still far behind. We have the, the, the Kassites have six. Chaldeans have six. And the Isin, even with their new city, already are only sitting at four. So I think we're going to pop in. Uh, oh, hold on. Didn't look. 
I'm gonna pop in and take this city. Now, where do we stop? That gets us the elephant and that iron. That loses the elephant going down this way, gains him back going this way. Down here we have the horse, no elephant. I kind of want to grab that horse for the orders. There's elephants yield. Oh, from a camp it gives orders as well. Now, this city is more likely to be... This spot is more likely to be gab gobbled up by... Where's the line? There in the forest, I think? I mean, we could buy that tile out real quick. Well, ish. There's the border if we go this way, though. Okay, let's go down here. And that becomes a nice Sin village as well. Just gonna start with a worker, and then go to their walls. Um, yeah. Worker than walls. That's kind of our go-to for building. Now, we had other settlers, right? This guy? Yeah, he's gonna head on his way down to Littleville here. Or maybe not. Maybe we head over this way. And this one would be um, the Chaldean. We have a couple farm spots that can be gobbled up by that one. This would be very much a forestry town, so let's move that way, generally speaking. Alright, so this ha we have to take out this elite. That's a lot of orders to use, again, to do so. How much damage can we do with him with archers, though? That's a little more. I'm entirely in favor of horse marching the crap out of our guys to get the damage done. He's half dead. He's half dead. How many? We have 21 orders. Any one of these tiles is going to be the same damage. We get seven units of power left. That's only going to take three up. That's going to take... Sorry, two, two, and that's going to take three. Oh, but if I move this one, I lose it. Dang. Uh, okay, this is already finished. So we can get over that way and do some damage from there. Uh, force march you over to here. Shoot that guy. We have four points left. Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? We're not gonna be able to take them out, are we? That's two. Four. If I if I move off this tile, I lose it. Unless I can, I can't get up there. That'll leave me only five orders. We'd have to buy a ton of orders for this to work. Who can move there the quickest? Oh man, this is tight. I'm trying to rush all these. Alright, if you can get back to here... Can you get up to there? Five. That's gonna go... Let's... Oh, is it double down? Yeah, they cost twice the orders, right? When they're force marched. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Folly indeed. Folly indeed. If I take both of those up, I lose this city. If I don't, I lose the other one. You're going to get to there. There. That's zero orders. 
Minus four? Right. I'll get you into that. What's it going to take to get up there? Nine ordered. I can't do this. I can't do it. I don't have coin debasement. I don't have a schemer leader. Like, there's no way to make this happen. Is there? No, I gotta back it up. But, I think that might be a little too cheesy even for me. It's unfortunate. Because I'm sure I just spent way too much. Alright, I'll back up the extra orders to there. Alright. I'll back up to there. That's where we'll stop, okay? I'm sure this is not going to get us anywhere near useful. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. All right, Kish. Kish, what are you up to, my friend? Okay, this is this is the quarry bill, and we need to upgrade our quarry work. So I think Kish just needs, like, a bazillion stone workers. Five of them? Sure, that'll be a good start, Kish. That's a lot of stone workers. Uh, Durker here needs what? Moat form one. Put your trapper in and get fur. That'd be wonderful. Um, excellent. And this is Uruk. Uruk needs. Uh, this is a trapper, but does not yield fur. Uh, I'm still okay with doing that. Okay, now down here we have this, right? So how close are you? Three days until you get that worker. Okay, I want to uh, build Babylon one settler. One ping only, please. Two turns to finish settler. We'll decide if we get the other one based on those uh, previous, this previous folly. And uh, we'll, let's, let's see. I was going to leave you with the cliffhanger on this one, but... You get to see the result of whether or not they obliterate this dude. They should probably take it, but I don't know if they get messed up by my movement. I doubt they do, my location. Uh, and it might just be... It might just be a matter of their decision-making being poor that could yield us not... yield them not taking this guy out. I highly doubt it. This mason's probably going to step around and go bonk, take him out in one turn. If I select that unit, they can't actually take him out in one turn. So they would need two attacks on this guy. Interesting. Because I can select their units and see what their damage is. Oh, there's the archer for the finish. Good. Yeah, that's that was my folly, and I deserve that loss. Well, at least they're clearing out the mess for us. And that's good. Uh, I do not want to lose that Gaul town, though. Uh, Chancellor Pal Palpatine, no, Palatum the Younger, our Chancellor has died. <sighs> okay. But that's it for today. We'll come back for those events in the next episode. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. I uh, hope you guys are having a great time and uh, doing well. It's been a while. Say hi in the comments. If you're still uh, watching at this point, I appreciate all the support and all the patience as we go through a, went through a major tech upheaval. I think all the software glitches are worked out now. So hopefully this all recorded nicely. And if it didn't, I'll have to record the entire thing over again and figure everything else out again, which would suck. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day, and we'll see you in game.